Hey guys, my name is Matty. Welcome to another quick little pro tip video. And we've talked a lot about gimbals, but let's talk about how to properly use them. So the other day we were hanging out downtown Toronto with my friend Alan Palander and Peter McKinnon was there too, but he was just kind of doing his own thing. And I was testing out a new gimbal I got. It's called the Moza Air. I've had this actually for a little while. I just haven't had time to unbox it and check it out, learn a new gimbal because they're all a little bit different. Um, different apps and all that stuff. So I was testing out the gimbal and I started to think about some different tips that could maybe help you guys in getting better gimbal shots. Oh, and by the way, if you want kind of a more behind the scenes look into the videos I make and just day to day life, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I try to post a lot of Instagram stories on there and photos every once in a while too. And on Twitter also, I'm posting on there a lot of times and that's really where I'm interacting with a lot of you guys. So, so follow me on Twitter and mention me and a lot of times I'll comment back. And interestingly enough, I was looking at some of my YouTube analytics the other day and only about 52% of you guys, the viewers, are subscribed to the channel. So I think a few of you need to hit that subscribe channel. I'd love for you guys to be a part of this community and just follow along as we learn together. All right, so let's do five tips on how to use a gimbal properly. Number one is to make sure your gimbal is balanced well. I've seen a lot of people's footage where it's shaking a little bit and it shouldn't be. It's just really because they haven't balanced their gimbal properly. And what I like to do is just balance it at home. Before you even go on a shoot, balance it at home. Just take your time. Make sure it's really well done so you're not getting any of that shake that shouldn't be there. And then once you go out and shoot, it's already balanced. You might just have to tweak it a tiny little bit, but it's ready to go and you don't have to worry about that later on. But make sure it's well balanced. Take your time on that. Number two, a gimbal is for movement. It's meant to move your camera around using that gimbal and get those stable shots. But I see a lot of people just kind of holding it still and you're not really using the gimbal properly there. I mean, yeah, you're gonna get a more stable shot, but you could be getting some really cool shots if you just move the camera around more. Even if it's just a tiny little bit of movement, it's gonna be way better than just a static shot. A lot of times I like to just do like a slow orbit around my character subject or just a slow dolly in or dolly out. Those kinds of shots are really interesting and nice, especially for close-ups. Just use that little bit of movement. Don't go crazy on it, but a gimbal is super good for those. So make sure you're actually getting moving shots with your gimbal. Number three is to have something in the foreground. Now this is one of those things that no matter how much you move the gimbal, if everything is really far away and there's nothing in the foreground, then it doesn't really look like you're moving at all. And then the same applies for the reverse of that, even if you're not moving a ton, but there's something close in the foreground, you're gonna see a lot of movement. So for example, here we have kind of a lateral move of the street here and not that much is going on, but then we put Alan in there and it looks way better. There's a lot more movement, things are happening. It just makes it a lot more interesting. And that brings me to number four, which is get close. Get close to your subjects, get close to a wall or, or the ground. I really like those low angles where the ground is just whizzing by. Get close to things and you're gonna see that dramatic movement. But if you're just far away from everything, not much is gonna happen and it's not gonna look that dynamic. One of my favorite shots with gimbals is getting really close to the ground, following the feed or anything like that. You guys have probably seen a few of these shots in my videos. And it's something that's kind of unique to gimbals. It's really hard to get these shots on a steady cam, a glide cam type thing. But with a gimbal, it's really easy. It's this dynamic, nice moving shot, just really interesting, I think. Number five, plan your shots and I talk a lot about planning and it's because it's one of those free things that anybody can do and it's a guarantee that your video is gonna turn out better if you just plan out some things and what I find with gimbals is that uh, people just get a little bit too excited with gimbals. They get a little trigger happy and they just start running around and going crazy. And maybe it's also because it's a little bit heavier. You feel like you just need to get your shots and get it over with. You want to be done with it. 
but helping to plan your shots really helps with all this craziness that happens as soon as you pick up that gimbal. And with planning comes one of the best shots that gimbals are perfect for and that's oneers or one take shots. And these are shots that are typically a little bit longer moving around getting different angles all in the same continuous shot. Before this was super hard to do but gimbals have made oneers so much easier. And these shots are always those really wow factor shots that people are just thinking how did they get this shot? There's so much going around, so much movement. They went through this thing and that thing. How's the camera moving in all these different ways? But these shots take a lot of planning. Plan it out, execute it well, and you can really wow your audience with these nice long one take shots. And that's it. Five easy tips for you guys to use your gimbals properly. And and some of them sound really simple, like planning out your shots or having an object or person in your foreground. But they make a massive difference. But so many people just don't use their gimbals to the maximum someone potential. A gimbal is this crazy tool that's fairly new that just opens so many possibilities and just allows for one person to get insane shots. So make sure you're using your gimbal properly. All right guys, that's it for this episode of quick little pro tips. I hope you got something out of it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, all 48% of you guys who aren't subscribed already. And guys, enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels.